right. Good morning. Uh, my name is Lieutenant Scott Rook. I'm with the U.S. Coast Guard at Coast Guard Headquarters in Washington, D.C. Uh, I actually work in the Office of Human Systems Integration for Acquisitions, which uh, I'll explain what that means in a little bit. Uh, my first exposure to HPT was uh, more ad hoc, I guess. I've spent the better part of 22 years now in service, being at the pointy tip of the spear where all the, the field operations are going um, and being on the front line. So uh, we tended to look for opportunities for process improvement by default rather than design. It was, uh, we bumbled our way through it without having the structure of uh, performance improvement models. Um, the other second influence where I really, I guess, cut my teeth was my wife um, began her degree program at Wayne State University and came home all excited about Thomas Gilbert and this wonderful uh, BEM and these other models and kind of piqued my curiosity and got me started on, on trying to figure out more what the program was because obviously I'd never heard of it. Um, uh, another influence, though, was uh, my personal website that I run for job aids and study guides for bosun mates, realizing that there was a performance technology center for the Coast Guard where folks who designed curriculums, who looked for opportunities for improvement, kind of, I guess, congregated and, and had that intellectual discussion. Uh, well, let's see. Biggest influences? Uh, I mentioned the, the PTC and, and dealing with some of the folks there, um, but the Armed Forces chapter is probably what really got me into it. Uh, Brett Christensen kind of drug me into it, didn't, didn't know of it, but I uh, was fortunate enough to have Brett in a couple classes and uh, realized that there was much more structured society rather than all of us just kind of going around. Um, along with that, the, uh, I just completed my master's with Boise State University and the, the staff and the instructors and professors there kind of having the diversity of thought, um, not having the same instructor for multiple classes and getting to hear the different perspectives and learning experiences from them um, was a significant influence. And then lastly, through the ISPE conferences, the approachability of the superstars of the field, for lack of a better phrase, it's uh, phenomenal that the, the folks that are considered the pioneers and, and at the forefront are so approachable uh, that you can just walk up and talk to them about anything or that they may even seek you out. Uh, a couple HPT projects. Uh, probably the first one that I cut my teeth on was the Boise State University project where we did uh, a cashier training evaluation of northern tool and equipment in uh, Yanni Chung's class. Uh, I had no idea what I was getting into with that and uh, in a four month period to take an actual evaluation of a training program um, kind of set it in stone that it, everything made sense. Um, a lot of the ad hoc stuff I'd learned over the past, it, it worked out better to understand a system. Um, I think the project that is of most interest to me right now is not necessarily as academic as some may do, but uh, developing a community of practice within the Armed Forces chapter. Um, over the last year we've heavily become involved in social media using multiple, multiple avenues of approach to, to find the individual's comfort zone of which application they prefer what areas they are willing to go into and trying to maximize participation within the chapter, knowing that the majority of the folks are content to lurk in the background, um, but by picking an application that they're willing to, that they have a comfort with, makes them more likely to participate so we can draw out the, uh, the participation of the members. Uh, 30 second elevator speech. What I do, again, I, human systems integration for acquisitions means absolutely nothing to anybody in performance improvement, I'm sure. Uh, the way I try and describe what I do, my responsibility is to ensure that new acquisitions, whether they're helicopters, boats, ships, weapon systems, computer systems, um, we want to make sure that we have the 
proper performance support or training or whatever is defined, designed as our intervention built into the contract because what costs a dollar today is ten dollars next week is a hundred dollars next year. Um, so while I'm not technically doing what most folks would envision I would do with my master's degree, it's a strong basis to make sure that we're requiring the contractor to do the things we need to get the end user to perform at the level that we want them to. Uh, current and future for learning about HPT. I just graduated in December. I took a semester off. Uh, I'm currently taking one of the certificate programs uh, through ISPE and Ithaca College. I've done two of the two-week courses. I've got two more to go. Uh, I just enrolled in the workplace e-learning uh, graduate certificate program with Boise State. And I think more than anything, uh, I'm coming to these conferences and the Coast Guard's HPT conference and other things like that in order to, to sponge off of those who have come before me. I, I still accept that I'm I'm new to the world, although I bring a lot of operational and real world experience to it. I still need the guidance of those who come before me to help me frame what I've learned from actual experience. So that's the plan for the future.